Before we start, y'all, I want to see which, which, um, so we got Sony that put out the trailer that I know Will Smith put out the trailer on his channel. I want to see which one put out the longest, the longest version, because I want us to get the most content out of this. So we got 305 for Sony, 255 for Will Smith. So yeah, something extra in the Sony one, so we're going to go with that one. So already, this light, light ratio is looking good, so... I was kind of scared going into this. I, I, I purposely stopped. I need to flip this so I'm not looking at myself, y'all. But I, I purposely didn't watch it because I was afraid to watch it on camera because I didn't. I, I'm a Will Smith fan. I'm not the biggest Martin Lawrence fan, but I, I respect him for the work he did throughout the years. So I really didn't want to bash these two gentlemen, man. But um, now I'm kind of excited to watch it, man. I ain't gonna lie, the last one, it didn't, it wasn't, it wasn't my cup of tea. Like my daughter says, it, it wasn't my thing. It felt like a Disney or Nickelodeon spinoff or something with the whole bringing in the younger people and bringing in the tech. I felt like I was watching I Spy. The last one to me wasn't really rememberable, so I, I really need a recount right now. I ain't gonna lie to you. Mike realizes Isabel is behind all of this. He explains to Marcus that before they teamed up, he was deep undercover in the Aretas cartel, and he had a relationship with Isabel before he had her thrown in jail and get her husband killed. Pasta El Fuego was a phrase they came up with that was nonsensical, but was supposed to mean together until the flame burns out. Mike concludes that Armando is his son, and that she has been grooming him for revenge, since all the victims were on the same case against the Aretas family. After realizing he knows the truth, Isabel contacts Mike and arranges for him to meet her in Mexico City to end things. She tries to shoot Mike, but Armando steps in the way and takes the bullet in the shoulder. Oh, Rita wow. then shoots Isabel off the ledge, sending her plummeting into the flaming wreckage. Marcus almost falls over too, but Armando helps Mike pull him up and get them out of there. Later on, the team is getting along better, and they celebrate as Rita has been promoted to become the new captain. Mike and Marcus then bond with baby Marcus, singing the bad boy song to him. Before the credits roll, Mike visits Armando in prison, offering him a chance to make up for his crimes. Armando appears to be interested. All right, my prediction, watching the recap, we're gonna have my Mike Larry's oldest son being a part of the team somehow, and maybe we'll see baby Marcus. Maybe he's not, a, of course he's not gonna be a baby anymore. I'm, I'm assuming five, six, eight years has been passed since the in the timeline since this film. We'll we'll see him as a as a not a teenager, but maybe like a kid. We, we all filled in now, right? All right. Y'all probably already seen this, right? What y'all think about it? Bad Boys trailer is coming out. Right now. Right now. Right right now. Yeah, right, right now. Right now. Right now. Check it out. It's hot. I was going to say one thing before we start, man. It's hot. It's hot. That's an old Will Smith meme if you didn't get that. But I was going to add, man, they put the paint on our boy Martin forehead, man. It's, it's kind of sad because uh, something seemed to happen to Martin where he's not the same person he was before or maybe back then he was putting on the front to be, to be this energetic comedic like almost like a chris tucker or the old chris tucker friday chris tucker type of character because nowadays he's more mellow I, I say that to say in the last one will smith seemed like he carried the movie and martin was in the background so hopefully martin brings that old energy back but i don't know if he can because maybe it's just with age he changed as a person. Like people, people evolve. So I don't, I don't blame him for that. Come on, Mike, slow down. We are late. My stomach, Mike. I need a ginger ale. Uh, get a ginger ale and nothing else. I know those dogs fresh. Put them in yesterday. Give me one. Put some relish on that motherfucker. Open the register. Stay right there. Mm mm. Is that Skittles on the counter, Marcus? This ain't mine, Mike. Yes, it is. Shut the fuck up! Marcus, get in the car. He has a gun to my head. Wanna deal with him, you wanna deal with me? Sorry, sir, but I gotta go. <laughs> Call 911. Aren't you the police? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we started off good, man. 
Hey, Reggie, did you eat my snacks? No, sir. You ate my snacks, didn't you? You need to get a job. I'm a U.S. Marine, sir. Well, then you need to deploy. Dad, look. We now have evidence that the late Captain Conrad Howard of Miami PD was working directly with drug cartels for years. Captain Howard is being framed. Let's go. What the hell? He's texting us from the other side. No, he's not, Marcus. If you're seeing this, I'm probably dead. Fuck! Fuckers! Fuck them all! Daddy! I don't know how high up this shit goes, but I don't trust anybody. You're my bad boys. Now clear my name. You should be careful. They're being set up, detectives. We got two suspects, Lowry and Burnett. They're armed and dangerous. In five, four, three. No! We can't wait for Louie! It's flammable! I know they're a scientist! Y'all are some terrible fucking fugitives. Ah! I can feel like any rest in my memories. Me and Jizzy back to back is getting scared. I got the old feeling back. I got the old feeling back. I need nasty mic. Bad boy. I got this. What you do, Are y'all still in our clothes? Just because we black, we still in your shit? Why? Look at your shirt. <laughs> Why don't you sing us a little Reba song? Oh, uh -huh. Reba. Sing your favorite. Uh, I'm a woman. Uh, so I'm a strong black woman. Strong. Yeah, I'm cause she's not black. Yes. What you gonna do? What you, what you gonna, gonna do? That ain't no Reba song. Uh, it's from her mixtape. I'm going to I'm going to the theaters for this one. I'm going to the theaters for this one. Oh, it, it has that old feeling, man. It's the old feeling back. Yeah, yeah. I like the. I don't know if the trailer is only like this in the trailer, but from this trailer, it seems like the spotlight is back on our boys the way it's supposed to be. Not all these side characters. And I did like how they included the the oldest, like how we saw in the recap, the um, Mike Larry's son. That was a shot of coffee right there. That was an espresso shot. Like, that, that woke me up. You need a job? I'm in. Uh, hold up. Oh, God. I, I looked at that. I dived to the comments. I, I'm going to stop at that comment because, whoa. Rush Hour 4? Whoa, 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 whoa. 